I'm going to read this quote from Ron Paul. It says, I'm convinced that there are more threats to American liberty within a 10 mile radius of Capitol Hill than there are around the world and the rest of the globe. More threats to American sovereignty and freedom within DC's mileage than it is around the world. That speaks volumes. Let's talk about it today, particularly your money and your safety when it comes to defense. Let's jump into it. Today's video starts right now. Hey guys, welcome to the Max. Thank you so much for being here. It is very windy. We have a bad storm blowing in. I do have a cover on my mic, but again, I hope that this video is good quality. So uh, bear with the audio, of course. If you're new to the channel, go down here, press subscribe, ring the bell, give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Let us know what you think about this content. Our goal is to always give you content that makes you think, to make you gain some wisdom and have a common sense approach to raise your family in this crazy world that we live in. Now let's jump into the content of today. The thought about your money and the control of your money, but also the defense of it. Ron Paul said it best that there's more threats to America right around DC than it ever was to you anywhere around the world. Now we talk about the threats around the globe all the time. However, more threats to us in America, truly in the states of the United States, is really what we're doing in Capitol Hill. Now I want to talk a little bit about that. First, your defense. We are now passing a monster spending bill along with the Republicans negotiating. I don't understand why we're negotiating over Ukraine when we can't even keep our border closed and there's more, we talked about this disease, uh, nationalists from other countries and even terrorists coming across our border. So there, there we go. There's the first sign of danger is the fact that we're not even closing a border. So therefore, I blame that again on our leadership in Washington. It's not the dangers of China, Iran, or across the world like Russia. It's right here on our border because your elected officials wants to negotiate to send money across the world along with not closing our border. So there's the first problem there. Second problem is two leaders. You have a leader. The poor man needs to be in a nursing home. He does not understand where he's even at. Did you hear his speech of the day? He, he was like yelling. He was like going nuts. The last public speech, he's like yelling at the camera in pure madness. It's crazy. It's, it's actually scary that we have someone in leadership that's got a whole other year of not knowing what he's doing. Did you hear about the defense secretary? The man's been in the hospital and they tried to keep it hidden. Is he really the one that should be leading our forces across the world or just protecting our borders here? He is the Secretary of Defense. So we see the breakdown there. We can't hope for Mike Johnson. He's making deals with Schumer. So we have no leadership when it comes to Capitol Hill and the threats really that face us defensively. We have states wanting to take your Second Amendment rights away. All the while, our border's not closed, so therefore you can't defend yourself. That's another problem. That's major threats coming from Capitol Hill when it comes to defense. Now let's talk about money. The real reason I wanted to make this video is your money. We hear all the time, CBDC, CBDC, CBDC. The threats are real. Here, here's the thing though. The reason I tell you to always get bartered items, the reason I tell you to always use cash, the reason I tell you to always buy gold and keep your, your assets in tangible goods like real estate, in cattle, in livestock, why do I do that? Because they don't need CBDC. All they need to do is destroy the dollar, the cash, not the currency as in the dollar across the world. I'm talking about the true cash. If they delete that, then they've already got you. The more they put you on digitized currencies that they're not in control of yet, yet, listen to that, yet, like Bitcoin, like cryptos. Remember, they are building a maneuvering towards either penalizing you for owning that or they will use people like BlackRock and all these other companies that are now getting into that market, Chase, to, to basically rule over it just like they do the Fed with the dollar. Okay, so let's, let's go back. So the real reason is they need to get rid of cash. CBDC, they don't need that. They have digitized currency because you think it's parallel. Also, they have the banks. They have credit cards. MasterCard and Visa has already come out and they give any information the government needs without your knowledge. There's been several banks that's given 
tons of your information out to the government without warrants and without any probable cause. So if they get rid of cash, they've already conquered your money. That is the threat coming out of Washington right now. It's not the threat across the world. It's not even the defense problems that we're having like the border. It's, it's really not that. It's really the fact that if they control money, they don't need CBDC. They just need you to not have cash. Less than 30% of people use cash in a weekly basis. In a weekly basis, most people don't use cash. They don't use checks anymore, so they're using pure plastic. Or they're using debts. Well, if they control the plastic, they control the debts, they control your digital currency, then what do you have if all of a sudden you needed something? Don't you think you would sell it pretty quick to get food? Don't you think that you'd do any and everything to protect, quote unquote, protect your family because you've got to have money to live? So they don't need CBDC. All they need to do is destroy your cash. That's the main worry I have when it comes to Washington is if they can control the money, not, not, not like cash money. I'm talking about if they can control currency like they're trying to do and if they get rid of the true dollars, the cash, they've won. Ron Paul also quoted, he says, the cashless society is an IRS dream. Total knowledge and control over the finances of every single American. It does not take CBDC. It just takes a cashless society. So when we're saying, oh, well, we're not gonna have CBDC, probably right. But we're gonna have everything but CBDC. So it's gonna basically be on the line of being CBDC because they're gonna use digitized currency that is not through the federal government. They don't need it. All they need to do is control the businesses that control the digitized currency. People say, oh, well, Bitcoin's safe. No, it's not. BlackRock is investing billions of dollars to control Bitcoin. And eventually, the more they buy, the more they control. Keep reading the quote from Mr. Paul. It says, we've already seen examples of how political agendas have led to censoring people on social media. It doesn't stop there. There, are already, there have already been cases where bank accounts have been frozen and third-party platforms, listen to that, third-party platforms have banned use of funds deemed a threat to the political narratives in the country. We talked about this yesterday with the fact of serve and protect. Who are they serving and protecting? Well, if you're on the opposition, is your money safe? So I tell you all the time, please quit worrying about putting your money in a bank to keep your wealth there. Please quit worrying about putting your money in the stock market or in digitized forms of currency like Bitcoin. All that depends on the maneuvering of money that you don't tangibly have. So if all of a sudden they froze those accounts, how could you make it? Do you have enough at your home to make it? Now people say all the time, well cash is, I mean it's gonna leave from there, it's worthless. Well until that point, you better have it. Now I'm not saying have 95% of all your money in cash, that's stupid too. But you better look at goods, tangible goods. Right now people are buying gold. Not just gold, not just, not just Americans buying gold, China's buying gold, Poland's buying gold. Your federal government is buying gold because they realize the only way that cash is worth something, the only way that they have value across the world is with gold. Gold has went up, and it's gonna keep on going up. You know why it's not going up like Bitcoin? Because it's not as speculative. You know why it doesn't ebb and flow like the market? Because it's real money. It goes up like it's supposed to incrementally. It may go down a little bit, but then it incrementally goes up. That's what real wealth is, slow growth. There's no such thing as get rich quick. Gold's not gonna get you rich quick, but biblically that's a farce anyway, and no one actually gets rich quick and stays rich. Wealth is generated over time. So you have to find it not only in holding cash and buying the goods like bartered goods that are very good for you. It's having gold and having real estate and having other tangible goods like food, water, livestock, livestock, wood, hay. Having things that's gonna bring tangible value to you to then turn around and barter, to have in a, in a cashless society to make money, to live. So it's either cash, hold cash. It's either gold, hold wealth, or it's either having bartered goods or having land to be able to barter to utilize if cashless societies actually happen. Because if not, what did we say? They already control MasterCard Visa. They already control PayPal and other platforms like third parties that hold money. They already control big business. And big business, the more they buy into Bitcoin, the more they buy into other NFTs, the more they buy into that, the more you lose power. 
because your little holding of 0.5 Bitcoin or even holding a whole Bitcoin is nothing to the comparison of what BlackRock can do if they start buying loads of Bitcoin. Think in history real quick. Let's wrap it up. The Fed was set up to help people and help government to stabilize money. Then banks became the Fed and then ultimately came control. The stock market was there for people to make money, to retire. All of a sudden, big business like BlackRock, Blackstone, State Street, they start buying into it and becoming the biggest players. Vanguard, all, you, you name them. Now they own the market. It's happening in real estate too. You don't think that they're not going to do the same thing to the parallel society such as Bitcoin and crypto? It's just a matter of time, people. Cashless society is what they want. The more you invest your money in the stock market, banks, and crypto, the more you're losing your freedom with cash. Now, don't hold all your money in cash, of course, but look at things like bartered goods, look at food, look at livestock, look at real estate, look at gold, look at silver, look at things that can bring value to you and your family that are tangible. Don't buy gold and put it over in California and you live in Mississippi, that's not smart either. You buy gold and you hold gold. Let's go back to the quote from Ron Paul. I'm convinced that there are more threats to American liberty sitting 10 miles within Capitol Hill than there ever was across the world. The defense, it's a big deal, but the control of your finances and money and all it takes is you buying into every system other than cash and bartered goods. And that shows that that's a major threat because they control you. You'll do anything and everything when it comes to feeding your family, taking care. You're, you're going to follow the orders as we talked about yesterday because you're going to want to take care of your family, want to take care of yourself. You don't want to starve. You don't want to have no uh, place to lay your head. So if they control your money, they control you. Don't let them. Have the freedoms and liberties. Hold cash because without cash, a cashless society, without bartered goods and without precious metals, without wealth tangibly in your hands, you will be just under the sheep to jump off the mountain with the rest of them. Guys, give me your thoughts. Um, I know a lot of people say, oh, I gotta have Bitcoin, you gotta have it. Get rid of cash. I'm not there and I'm not gonna be. If you're gonna get rid of your cash, you better start buying things that are good for you. Things that you can eat, things you can drink, and things that hold value like gold. Guys, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think about it below. Give me a thumbs up. It really helps us stay in the algorithm YouTube, and it really means the world to me. If you like the video, a thumbs up is what I would love to have. Guys, thank you for watching. God bless. Happy homesteading, y'all.